Hello everybody, Dave Neal here with breaking news update from Bachelor Nation. That's right, a breaking news story that nobody expected. Former villain of Bachelor and Bachelor in Paradise, a friend of the program, Shanae, with her shocking pregnancy announcement. Now, just so you know, that ultrasound I shared is a joke that is actually a shrimp. So if you're wondering, how did Shanae get pregnant with crustaceans? She didn't. That is a joke. That's not her real ultrasound. If I claimed that was her real ultrasound, I would be committing medical fraud. I'm not doing that. I'm making a joke there. Protected by the good graces of humor. So anyway, we're going to get into this story. It just is taking the internet by storm. And by storm, I mean it's a small squall, but we like a good small squall. Follow me on Instagram for a large monsoon of content at dneals. And every afternoon, Bachelor, or patreon.com slash Dave Neal in the morning. And every afternoon, Bachelor Rush Hour at the podcast. Now, I'm going to tell you the exact moment I found out this news. We were just live on the Patreon, and you can actually get my live reaction. I'll have that in a second. But I'm going to try something new today. Uh, We haven't done this in a while. 5 p.m. East Coast and 2 p.m. Pacific. We're doing a voicemail live stream. That's right. You guys call in. Any questions you have, I'll try to answer them if I can legally. 401-213-9828. 401-213-9828. I don't share your number. I don't know who's calling. You can leave it anonymously or you can tell me. But either way, that's where I'll be. Now, as far as the breaking news story we're getting into right now, here was me minutes ago finding out the breaking news story. I was sharing with the Patreon, our private membership community. I was sharing with them a clip from my interview with Clayton when I found out. Have a listen. Well, and what I want to say about Nick is I do respect the fact that he is we willing a, to... We have a breaking news story, folks. That's right. Here on Bachelor Nation. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a baby shrimp. Okay, so anyway, that's where I found out. You can go watch the full conversation if you want to see that. But we're going to jump right into it right now. Shanae is pregnant, expecting first baby, a girl, with boyfriend Nate Ebner. Of course, multiple super winner from the New England Patriots and also Olympian rugby player Nate Ebner. The Bachelor alum and NFL star tell People Exclusive they are super excited for their baby on the way. Shanae is pregnant. Bachelor and Bachelor in Paradise alum, 31 years young, and boyfriend Nate Ebner. Oh, they didn't say his age. How sexist are currently expecting their first baby together? A girl. According to Shanae, uh, her and Nate, 34 years young, learned about their baby on the way in late July. I knew I was pregnant before I even took the test. I just had a gut feeling. We waited and waited for the double lines to show up, and boom, shakalaka, the double lines appeared. Nate and I were looking at each other, just smiling and in awe. She adds of herself and her beau, who previously played in the NFL for the New York Giants and the New England Patriots. So there's a photo of her sitting there. I guess what she's in her first trimester, or end, or maybe maybe. Uh, but you know, I'm trying to do the math here. Either way, we're. I don't know. Are we seeing a baby belly? Uh, well, you know, don't get me started in that game here. I'll let you decide. And there's Nate with, um, you know, uh, uh, joy. <clears throat> I mean, look, hey, this is good for both of them. This is a good match. He's got a he's got a partner who is a fiery, uh, I believe Tom Brady fan. Do I have that right? I think she's a Patriots fan, which is probably why I thought she was from New England, but uh, she is from Ohio. Shanae is pregnant, and let's see what she says. I'm super excited, Nate says, of becoming a dad. I think Shanae is a wonderful human with a beautiful soul, and I can't wait to watch her be an amazing mother to our child. She will be the absolute best as she has so much love to give. I know it will be difficult, but I think I have a lot to offer, and I'm excited about the experience, the challenge, and the learning along the way. Referencing his memoir, Finish Strong. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. How? (laughs) Hey, Nate. You finished strong, all right. You knocked her up. Referencing his memoir, Coming Fat. I mean, Finish Strong, A Father's Code and a Son's Path. Nate says he has always wanted a child or children because of the unique relationship he had with his own father, which he detailed in the book. Hey, hey, look, the kid's going to have to go to school. He's going to have bills to pay. By all means, pu- push in uh, you know, your memoir and your uh, pregnancy announcement. I'm all about it. Finish strong. Uh, don't use protection. A father's code. I know that if I can be a fraction of the father he was to me, our child will be a lucky one. I believe parenting is the first step to a better society. Now, chances are they give these photos to people in exchange that they you know, show a link to the memoir. Absolutely. Hey, look, it's the world we live in. It's a give. It's a take. So there they are. 
Acne, who is 16 weeks pregnant, says that she and Ebner found out the sex of their baby on the around 10 weeks by doing genetic testing. Instead of opening the results from the doctor, we took the results to a bakery to have cupcakes made with either pink or blue colors to find out the gender once we bit into them. Nate and I did a little reveal together with just the two of us. I wanted something more intimate due to it being our first pregnancy. As for Nate, while he never really thought the baby would be anything other than a boy, I'm going to be the best girl dad out there. I can't wait to have a -a one-of-a-kind relationship with this little girl, and I hope to be a great example for her of how a man should act, what strength looks like, and how you treat the people you love in your life. So there they are. There's the photos. Again, let's go to their Instagram. Everyone is shocked. There it is, folks. It's only from the last hour we got to see this uh, uh, carousel here. So my guess is um, he's on his phone. So maybe he's like Googling, uh, what do two stripes mean on a pregnancy test? Everyone's shocked. Jen Parisi, Susie, congrats, congrats. Rodney says, congrats. Michael A., oh my God, that's amazing. Congrats. Uh, Danielle, OMG, OMG, so excited for you. So there they are. This is, and by the way, They did a gender reveal and then posted a black and white photo. We can't tell from the photo what it is. But of course, they told us there. What are they looking at? Oh, maybe maybe that was the genetic results that they got in there. Um, So yeah, there they are. She's jumping for joy uh, at the pregnancy. Uh, Very special moment. Now, some people that didn't like Shanae might, uh, you know, have choice words. But look, how how you're edited on a show really is just uh, hogwash. Because even if you say certain, even if you act certain ways with certain people, you have to understand it's a tough scenario for anyone to be a part of. She always felt attacked on the show. And I'll always say this. There's no amount of duress that should lead to an apology. People were demanding, wagging their fingers at her and all these things. When I watched it, I said, look, she felt like she was attacked and how we act when we're attacked is not always uh, to our highest level. Uh, but there it is, folks. I'm craving a cupcake now. I'll eat your gender reveal cupcake. I don't care if the uh, uh, interior is blue or pink or yellow, whatever. Whatever color you want, put it in there. I'll eat it. Sugar, sugar. All right. So folks are very excited for them. And um, let's see. I mean, it was almost like just recently that she actually hard launched the... How long have they been together, you know? So I I, I, I cover Bachelor Nation pretty closely, and I didn't know uh, that uh, that she was expecting... Oh, there's the kid. No, that's a different kid. I didn't know that she was expecting, but I'm looking for when the first photo of them was. Here's 28 weeks ago. I mean, it must be only a recent relationship, but hey, when time moves, it moves fast. So here she is with her paradise photos. And now, as we saw, she did get that paradise redemption. My hope is that she's able to receive some love from the Bachelor audience. I'm guessing she will. Usually the people that are like haters kind of, uh, you know, don't really exist in their reality. But um, yeah, so let's see what she's got on her Instagram story. She's uh, showing here um, some, oh, that was a football highlight. That's right. My New England Patriots had a commanding victory of the Buffalo Bills. I know they're two and five. It's a rebuilding season. Absolutely. And then she shares the people article. So very exciting stuff. Who is this Nate Ebner guy anyway? Well, here he is. He's a rugby player turned professional football player. He's an absolute beast, um, not only on the rugby pitch, is that a term? I don't know. But also, uh, you know, as a special teams player, uh, here he was playing rugby. You know, rugby is, is similar to football in the sense, you know, athletically, the, the, the juking and uh, jiving that is needed to succeed. But in a lot of ways, it's, of course, more, I don't know, it's it's closely related to soccer as well. You know, American football, obviously moves and pauses and this and that. Here's Nate, though, being interviewed. Olympian and, of course, minority owner of the Free Jacks. Now, Nate, you grew up watching rugby because of your dad. That's how you got into the sport. Yeah. Talk to us about MLR and the growth and what excites you because there are so many kids around the country that are watching the sport now who are dreaming to be on the field. Well, what excites me, first and foremost, is the environment and seeing this great place to come to and watch rugby. It's uh, unlike anything I'm used to growing up with rugby in the U.S. And then obviously the quality of rugby right now in the MLR is just... All right, so uh, Shanae, a fan of football, now is uh, 
At least I, they're not married. They're only dating. But now she's got a baby daddy. She's with uh, with multiple jewel, uh, hard uh, hard jewelry, I should say, uh, Super Bowl rings. So those uh, the rings are pretty big. Do you get arthritis? And Tom Brady literally, uh, you know, his hand uh, it needs to be strong just to hold up all of the amazing uh, rings. Because you know he's a three time Hall of Famer in the sense that if you took Tom Brady's career and divided it three ways. Each part of that career could be, in and of itself, Hall of Fame worthy. Why does that matter? It doesn't. I'm just taking a victory lap on Tom Brady because my Patriots aren't exactly having a winning season. So anyway, again, this is a crustacean in an ultrasound. This in no way is meant to imply that she's having a shrimp for a baby. I'm just being extra clear here. I have to run that by legal. Now, I wanted to share this story of Crystal, because actually Crystal, uh, former villain also on Bachelor, Bachelor in Paradise, had a similar kind of story to Shanae in the sense that they're kind of like the blonde villains from their seasons. Well, she was being accused of being very clickbaity in the sense that she said this was supposed to be her pregnancy announcement this week, but God had other, other plans for her. She was actually promoting her YouTube page where she actually was never pregnant, even though it was sort of implied she was having a miscarriage. This is a wild story. I'm going to get to it. I'm going to give Crystal a lot of grace here. People can do whatever they want. They can judge whatever. I'm not going to, but I am going to have that story on today's Bachelor Rush Hour, the podcast, and probably a video on that tomorrow. It looks like Crystal did delete her initial fertility journey reel. That's the world that becomes complicated when you monetize your life story. Clickbait, by all means, I know a lot about it, can be dangerous when it is used <clears throat> in a way that might trivialize other people's journeys, that type of thing. So either way, no clickbait with Shanae. She's pregnant. I'd love to know your thoughts. We will be live. If it goes well, we'll continue to do this, but we will be live at 5 p.m. East Coast, 2 p.m. Pacific. Voicemail 401-213-9828. Call in. Whatever you want to talk about, I'll be here. And uh, one more time, congrats to Shanae, and uh, we look forward to your spring baby. More content coming right after this.